show it is your girl titi from the d happy tuesday everybody i'm not going to keep you long but i'm going to give you some tips this morning we're going to get into this conversation i've been having a conversation with some peers of mine some business partners of mine some family friends of mine over the years and we all probably can stand in agreement and say we deal with people with multiple personalities on a daily basis. And sometimes it's hard to tell if you're dealing with Dr. Jacqueline, Mr. Hyde, you know, and in some cases as a woman, you know, I don't know the title that we would have for that. Cause we have the men, you know, Dr. Jacqueline, Mr. Hyde, but women, ladies, we, we, we can sometimes be that way. Not, not everybody that crossed your path have good intentions. Let me say that again. Not everybody that crosses your path have good intentions. Not everybody that laughs in your face is fond of you. And you laugh at some people's face you're not fond of. And it can be it can it can be crazy and chaotic sometimes, right? Especially when you learn that a person that kind of does the Dr. Jack or Mr. Hyde hides behind a mask, they like to manipulate. They're honest. Then they're dishonest. They show empathy. Then they show they're not empathetic. You looking like, who am I dealing with, right? But I'm going to tell you, if you pay attention, there are a couple of patterns. And I'm about to go on and put them out there. So go on and take your little crayon, your marker, your highlighter, uh, lip liner, right? Pencil, pen, or your smartphone. And just take note. And if you notice any of these patterns, I want you to kind of just look at people and say, hmm, okay? So number one, they make everything about them. They become self-centered. See, self-centered people turn every conversation back to themselves. You could literally be talking about your your first date or you know the first job you had or anything and then they tend to turn it around and make it about them instead of showing interest in what you're talking about because especially if you're excited about it they take that whole conversation that probably had nothing to do with them and they really reel it back and now you actually talking about them instead of you and you looking like or people that might be standing with you, sitting with you, talking with you on the other phone, whatever that looks like. Might be like, how the heck did we get on you? Right? I thought we was talking about Marka, Jasmine, Tony Michael, right? Just a, just a thought. Number two, <laughs> they tend to put people down. People with personality issues love belittling other people. And sometimes that make it a joke. But that's a red flag, people believe. Right? It's almost like they're putting on a mask to, what would we say, hide who they really are because they, they're trying to portray who they feel they need to be when they could just be themselves. Everybody not going to like you, boo. Everybody not going to like you, sir. Everybody ain't going to like me, and that's fine. I look at it and say, you don't got to like me. You ain't got to love me, but you got to respect me. And if you can't respect me, we don't need to jive. We don't need to jive. We don't need to do it. If we have to be together, like if we belong to a sorority in a women in a woman's case, if you belong to a fraternity in a men's case, you have to be with your brothers and sisters, you you know, right? If you go to school, then you got to go to school with these people. If you work, you have to work with these people. Hell, some of y'all married to these people. And you got to play as nice, nice because you're married to him. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Right? But overall, 
when they put you down or you put people down, that's a that's lack of respect. And it's not kind, it's not nice. Number three, they refuse to take responsibility. It's always your fault. For you telling them it's always their fault. Because they don't want to own nothing. They don't want to own nothing. And their action of lack of integrity, it is like a dead ringer. They'll find someone or something else to blame it on. They don't want to stand in their mess. They'll shit in the floor. Shout out to YOLO. They'll shit in the floor and then stand there and smell it. And act like they don't know they did it. Watch people like that. Number four, they use guilt to manipulate you. Mm hmm. They'll try to use that mind over matter to control the situation, the circumstances versus being honest and upfront about what's going on because they lack communication or they don't want to have communication because they don't want to have to trip themselves up with their ploy of manipulation. And then they don't understand what boundaries are. They clearly will open a gate and walk through that boy, but they didn't knock. They didn't ring a doorbell. They didn't call and tell you they was on their way. It's like, you're, you, you, I'm just going to pop up. You ain't expecting them. I'm talking about metaphorically, of course, right? You just like, oh, okay, where that? Oh, oh, my. I didn't know we was doing that. And they're like, oh, yeah, I just decided. I thought that it is like, okay, you thought, but you didn't bother to think about that. What was I doing? That I have something on my plate? Was I involved in something? You, you just did, right? Number five, they break promises easily. Mm-hmm. Especially without remorse, right? They just, they could be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to take you to so-and-so. And you're like, okay, cool. Or I'm going to get you a ticket to go to so-and-so. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. And then they don't show up. With the no-show notion, they don't answer their phone. They don't answer their text messages. Hell, they may not be even, even at their house if you if you take a ride by, right? And they totally will go on the whole rest of the day, maybe. Might even get an extra day before they call in or even recognize or admit that they did something wrong or they dropped the ball. They'll act like they didn't know. Number six, this is a fun one. They gaslight you, boo. They gaslight you, homie. This turns into twisting facts. They take facts and they intertwine it with their mess, right? So everything they say, you got to doubt it. You got to question it. Who wants to deal with people like that? We do it every day. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a classmate. It could be a complete stranger. It could be your local cashier or server at your favorite restaurant. It can be whomever because a master of manipulation does not have a name tag on and they don't always wear the same mask. So they can come and go in your life on a daily basis. And often you don't even recognize them, but they're right there for you to see. Number seven, ooh, baby, they lie. If somebody lie frequently and often, which is one of the same, especially about small things, imagine what the hell they'll do on a, on a larger scale, right? And what sacrifices, because people, what I never understood is, why are you going to lie about something so stupid? Like, just, just, just do what you're going to do. Just do what you're going to do. Be who you're going to be. Who are we? You're so worried about thinking people judging you. You need to judge yourself. Maybe you'll like yourself a little bit more if you just be honest with who you are. If you messy, damn it, you messy. If you not messy, you not messy. But you know what you are. And nobody got to tell you. It's in your behavior. It's in your body language. And please believe people read the room when you enter it. Okay? Um. Ooh, here's a good one. Number nine, or I should say number eight, they will hold grudges over small, little, minute things, right? Yeah, they'll hold those grudges. They'll be like, mm, you did so-and-so, so I didn't do so-and-so. And it's like, huh? You mad? 
Oh, you big mad. Like, oh, okay. And you petty? So you mad and you got the petty bus out. And you boarded it and you driving it. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need people like that. And then, you know, we're going to ease into number nine because these people tend to have that victim mentality. Everybody's doing something against him or against her or against them because sometimes it could be a clique of people. You looking like every time, so it's always somebody else every time, all the time? Mm. Because they like playing victim. That's because they don't have no accountability. And it's because they've been doing it for so long, people would rather just don't deal with them and then let them just be all crazy and chaotic versus deal with them and check them, like, in a nice way, though. Like, hey, I'm not appreciating what you're doing and how this is going or whatever. You tend to want them to, you want to swat, swat them away like a flower or bumblebee. And it ain't got to be like that. It don't have to be like that. Now, this is my last one I'll tell you. They like to exploit others, especially when they're vulnerable. Yep. They love to exploit the weakness of another person and show no compassion or empathy for other people because they prey on other people's insecurity and they look at that as like, I'm better than you because it makes them feel inferior and, and stronger and mightier. And it's kind of like, really? Really? Yeah, unfortunately, it's people that's wired like that. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. We live in a world where we need to be kinder and more patient and giving, forgiving, respectful than all these other things that people are out here doing because the life is just too short to be playing around. It is not a game. It is not a dress rehearsal. This is real life. And we're doing real stuff. So be a real person. Everybody not going to like you, boo. Everybody not going to like you, sir. Just be kind. Be respectful and stay in your damn lane. Stop using your blinker. Because even sometimes when people let you over, they really don't want to. Just get in where you fit in. Naturally. Well, that's all I have for you on this Tuesday. Join me tonight if you are available. I'm going to have the beautiful Angela Davis coming through. She is simply amazing. That's the least I could say. Her vocals are just outstanding. And we will be going hot at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Live stream through StreamYard over on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram as well. And remember, if you want to engage with conversation, make your questions or your comments, please, 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 please with sugar just a little bit of sugar and a beautiful strawberry ripe and sweet on top. Go through your Facebook account by going to StreamYard.com. So www.StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook and log in and we'll see your questions and your comments. Well, you know what we say around here. Until the next time we leave footprints across the sun, it is your girl Titi from the D and I'll see you soon.